Hey, what's going on guys? This is Real Chief here and welcome back to my channel. As always, my name is Mike and we have another great show for you all today as always. Now I just got a message from one of my followers on social media who told me that he would actually like to see more of my scale models here on my channel. And I don't really necessarily have a whole lot of scale model locomotives in my collection, but I do have a mixture of scale and semi-scale engines that I like the best. So that's what we're going to be discussing about in today's video. And of course, I'm not going to really show you guys every scale locomotive that I have in my collection. So I'm thinking about dividing this video into a couple parts. And I'm not really sure how many parts I'm going to have, but it'll definitely, it will definitely cover every scale type locomotive that I have here in my collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm pretty sure you all know who this bad boy is right here. This is of course the die cast Pennsylvania Railroad's Streamline Torpedo in the Tuscan red color. And this locomotive is of course made by K-Line. And for those of you guys who are not aware, I actually did a review on this locomotive not too long ago. So as always, if you guys want to go ahead and check out that review I made, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description box. So for those of you guys out there who are starting to get into the hobby of model railroading, the Broadway Limited, or the, um, the Pennsylvania Railroad's Torpedo, has a very long history to the real Pennsylvania Railroad, because this locomotive was the competition to the 20th Century Limited, and the 20th Century Limited was owned by the New York Central Railroad, and that train was famously pulled by the one and only New York Central's Dreyfus Hudson, and the Broadway Limited here, or the Pennsylvania Railroad Torpedo, was a very successful locomotive in real life. So just like many of you guys, my first introduction to this locomotive was watching the very iconic I Love Toy Train series, which lasted from around 1993 to 2004 from TM Books and Videos. And if you guys want to go learn a lot more information about some of the other stream -like, streamlined locomotives at the time, Make sure to go check out I Love Toy Trains Part 7. I think you guys are going to have a really fun time watching it. Now just by looking at this engine here, you can tell that there was a lot of great thinking when it came to the manufacturing of this locomotive in real life. And just as well as the model here that you see in front of me. But I can't stress enough how happy I am to have this in my collection. I've always wanted these my entire life, and I'm very happy to have one. And I think I like it a lot more in this Tuscan Red version. But as we see at the bottom, we have a very iconic 462 wheel configuration, just like the other K4s, which this locomotive was based off of. And that's technically what this lo locomotive is. So now the torpedo has unfortunately been scrapped, but thanks to the iconic idea of model railroading, this locomotive would, will definitely live on forever. Okay, so now that we covered everything on the Pennsylvania torpedo here regarding how beautiful it is, Let's go ahead and move on to our next item here before I start daydreaming and glazing at this thing all day. Moving along to our next item here on the model train menu, I have this beautiful model of the Erie Lackawanna F unit, which was of course made by Lionel around 2006. For those of you guys who want for me to do a review on this locomotive and the rest of the set that goes with it, Make sure to fire away in the comments section below. Now, not only did Lionel make the F7 in the paint scheme for the Uri Lackawanna, but they also did other paint schemes as well, including Pennsylvania and Santa Fe. This locomotive also featured Train Master Command Control. It also featured an Odyssey system, Rail Sounds 5, Electro -magnet Magnetic Couplers, and Magnet Traction. Now, without going into too much information on the F7s, 
the F7 locomotives were introduced by General Motors Electromotive Division from February 1949 and lasted through December 1953. Now just by going through all those details that I mentioned about this locomotive, you can tell that this engine can pull as many cars as you want. And I haven't really tested it out yet, but you could probably pull around maybe 20 to maybe 30 cars with this engine, which is really impressive if you ask me. Now the weight of this engine is actually really incredible too if you ask me. If I were to take a guess, this locomotive probably weighs maybe around 2 pounds, maybe 2.5 if I were to take a guess. And this really does make me appreciate the manufacturing and the craftsmanship that went into Lionel's um, manufacturing stage of this locomotive back in the day. And I actually do prefer the older locomotives better than I do the newer locomotives. Because number one, I'm really a budget-friendly type of collector. And second, I just really love the nostalgia of these type of engines. So now that I covered everything here regarding the Erie Lackawanna F7, let's go ahead and jump on over to our last item that I want to show you guys in today's video. And last but not least, here we are with our final product in today's video. Now if you guessed why the subtitles were actually purple this time, you are correct, because this is a beautiful model of the Norfolk Southern No. 56 SD9 type locomotive, which is of course made by MTH. Now between this model here of Norfolk Southern's SD9 No. 56, as well as the real locomotive No. 56, there are some slight differences here and there between the scale model and the actual prototype that was used on the real railroad. And to explain those differences, I'm not going to go into much detail. So instead, I'm going to throw the picture up on the screen here. So that way you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Maybe pause the video for a bit and get a good view of what the real Norfolk Southern 56 is like in real life. And like I said earlier before, even though this might not technically be a 100% scale model, this is a very beautiful representation of the real Norfolk Southern SD9. And I just really love everything about it, including the detail, a lot of the work that went into the craftsmanship of the locomotive, as well as the sound system. And I will definitely show you guys this locomotive in operation towards the ending of this video. Now, just like with the Lionel Erie Lackawanna F7, I don't necessarily remember where I bought this in particular, but let's just say that I had this engine in my collection for a very long time now. And I just can't say enough about it. I mean, I just love everything about this engine, including the detail, the overall appearance of the locomotive, as well as the sound system, like I mentioned earlier. And please let me know if you guys want me, please let me know if you guys want for me to do a review on this locomotive as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and start to wrap up today's video. Now this concludes part one of my scale model show and tell series. In the next issue, I will be showing you the rest of my scale model locomotives, including the Hudsons in my collection. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But until next time, thank you all for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload. And please let me know in the comments section below on what type of other videos you guys would like me for me to make on my channel. But until then, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Thanks again and take care.